Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, October the 10th, 2018, and this is episode 2874. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to to today's Morning Manna. Glad you're here. Today's episode is titled, Hope in the Storm. Stay tuned, won't you? Storms of life, yeah, they come. In today's episode, one of the things that I want to do primarily, and I want to do it right here in the beginning of the episode, is I want to just issue a call to prayer for every single one of you who listen to this episode as soon as this episode ends. In fact, I think I'm just going to let the outro play out a little bit longer just to give you a little um, space to pray for those who live in uh, the panhandle of Florida and Georgia, uh, Alabama, uh, those in uh, South Carolina who will be affected again by yet another storm. Hurricane Michael is going to make landfall. It's a category four storm. I am from Miami. I have been through a number of hurricanes. This hurricane has the potential to be the most catastrophic in history. It's going to be the strongest in the last hundred years to hit this part of the Florida coastline. So I'm going to invite you at the end of this episode to pray, to pray for God's protection, to pray for wisdom for those who are making decisions right now, whether they should leave or not. Prayer for first responders, for sheriff deputies, Florida state troopers, EMTs, police, fire, National Guard, and pray for the ministries that serve so powerfully and passionately, like the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief Program, Samaritan Ministries, the Red Cross, Convoy of Hope, so many. Just bathe this situation in prayer. Pray for life to be protected. Now, I want to share with you, and the reason I wanted to share this with you primarily is because of this of this storm. But I'm going to read a very familiar passage of Scripture to you, and and I don't want you just to let this kind of go in one ear and out the other ear. I want you to think about not only physical storms, real weather related storms, but also the storms that come in our life. And I'm going to share with you in closing the words of one of my favorite songs and kind of an interesting story of how that song came up yesterday from the gospel of Mark chapter four, beginning in verse 35 on the same day when evening had come, he said to them, that is Jesus, let us cross over to the other side. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was and other little boats were also with him and a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? I want to encourage you today to remember that Jesus is in your boat. And when you face storms, He's there to deliver. We were sitting at the airport yesterday, me and one of my Uber driver friends, Nick, and he 
we were, he was looking out at the clouds. There were dark clouds off in the horizon. And he said the word, the words, till the storm passes by. I knew he knew that song and I began to just sing it because it's one of my favorite, favorite songs. And I want to share the verses of that song as a comfort to you in whatever storm you're facing. I have some dear friends that are battling cancer right now. It could be a, a, a health storm. It could be a financial storm. It could be an emotional storm. But listen to these words and be comforted by their truth. In the dark of the midnight, have I oft hid my face while the storms howl above me and there's no hiding place mid the crash of the thunder precious Lord hear my cry keep me safe till the storm passes by many times Satan whispered there's no need to try for there's no end of sorrow, there's no hope for you by and by. But I know the Lord is with me, and tomorrow I will rise where the storms never darken the skies. When the long night is ended and the storms come no more, let me stand in thy presence on the bright, peaceful shore. In that land where the tempest never comes, Lord, may I dwell with thee when the storm passes by. Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast. Let me stand in the hollow of your hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Father, I lift my voice right now and ask, Lord, for your protection, for your watch care, for your strength, grace, mercy, and peace to be with those who are in the path of Hurricane Michael. I pray for all of those who are in preparation, those first responders. Lord, I ask you to protect them to watch over them, to give them wisdom, clarity, understanding, uh, just a sense of observation that they've never experienced before, that they might be successful in protecting others. I pray, Father, that you would be with those that are in the path of this storm, those who are experiencing fear, those who are experiencing anxiety and worry, that you'd give them your peace. And give them wisdom, Lord, to know what their best course of action is. And Lord, for those who are facing other types of storms, I pray for your presence and peace to be with them as well. Shower them with your grace and your mercy today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. As the music continues to play, I'm asking you to pray. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.